Hi guys, thanks for joining me again today for the second part of my Fae the Roses illustration. Uh, I did draw this uh, a little while back, but I've just recently been able to get it inked properly and get it painted. Now, the thing with this, I did sit down, I, I believe it was just over two weeks ago, and I did sit down to paint it, and I was doing this exact same process with the skin on the face and everything here, and uh, I just put way too much water on my paper at once and I don't normally do that and uh, it just ruined the paper and it is a cold pressed paper so I don't know if the same thing happens with a hot pressed paper but the paper kind of um, deteriorated and it started to flake and peel and everything and I just couldn't get past that part so I had to scrap that one I had to redraw it on my watercolor paper re-ink it I believe one morning I was up until like four o'clock just trying to get this thing uh, re-inked because I was so upset that it took me so long to ink it the first time that um, I didn't really want to do it the second time so with the inking video that you did see that was the very first time that I I did ink it. Um, I didn't record the second time because it was pretty much the same process over again anyway. So second time around I managed to get the video completed. I did make the same mistake towards the end but I figured out how to fix it. Uh, I just used some aqua markers to color over the paper where it was deteriorating and uh, and I made it work. So um, I hope you're going to see the mistake that I made because I'm pretty sure it's still in the video, but I hope towards the end you'll see that I, I covered it up pretty well and uh, hopefully it's not as noticeable. I mean, I noticed it because I made the mistake, but I'm hoping that, uh, you know, people who see it can um, not see it or, you know, they can just look past it. But we'll see what you think towards the end of the video. Again, I'm using my Inktense blocks in this video, and I, I did go out and buy some more of those little round white palette thingies, <laughs> uh, because I did use quite a few more colors than I intended in this piece, and I didn't have enough room. These palettes only hold like 20 colors, and if I'm using one color, then I have to make it lighter, or if I had to make it darker, then I was starting to run out of room. So I had to go and get some more palettes to do this with. Uh, I there's not really a whole lot to say about this process um, other than you know a, like I said a lot of layering and I, I can't even provide you with the colors that I'd use because I just didn't even write them down um, I'm really bad for that and I will try to work on it in case you guys maybe want to have a little bit more in depth you know a little more detail of what I'm doing then I will definitely work on that So here I'm just putting a flat wash on the flowers just to get the background color going here. I did want to make the flowers in the end a lot darker than what they turned out, but it just didn't happen. And I got to the point where you'll see that I spent a lot more time on this first flower than I did with all of the other flowers because I was just getting so... Um, I, I wouldn't say I was getting frustrated with it, but I was like, is this process ever going to end? That's what I was feeling towards the end of getting this flower done. So I did do the other ones quite a bit faster, and um, they, I, I didn't want to paint them all the same because no two flowers are ever going to look exactly the same. But I did use the same colors, and um, I tried to make the shading in the same areas, um, in, in the picture, but other than that, um, I just went a little bit faster towards the end, and, um, yeah, so I, I don't have anything else to say at this moment, so I'm just going to let you listen to the music here and watch the process, and if I see anything that I'd like to explain or, um, talk about, then I will pop back in.
Here, as you can see, um, I did skip over quite a bit of footage of painting those flowers. And again, it's really, like I said, it's just layering one color after another. And it probably, the majority of the time that it took me to paint this um, image was spent on those roses. So I was quite happy to get them done. So I'm just painting in the leaves here with some intense colors. And here is where I make that mistake. You can see the paper. Um, starting to deteriorate so I have to leave it alone for a bit and then I move on to painting the wings and um, I do make a little bit of a, a mistake here on the wings as well um, not intentional um, I wasn't patient and I didn't wait for the color to dry and then when I started to paint those other little we'll say they were like little bulbs, I guess, the round parts in the wings there. I was painting those uh, yellow, as you'll see coming up here in a second, um, and the color ran into the blue and turned it green, so um, I did have to put a bit more uh, yellow into the wings to make it like um, almost like a marble effect, I guess, towards the end there, so I could try to hide that. And I, I, I'll admit, I did like the way that it came out, so I, was, um, I wasn't as unhappy with it after that it happened. But I need to do, I need to learn from my mistakes and have a little bit more patience when I'm doing stuff. Um, but like I said, I worked on this piece for a really long time, and I had so many other... Um, so many other things going on in my head that I wanted to get on paper and towards the end I was rushing to do this and you really shouldn't rush you really shouldn't rush a project and um, but yeah I, I really need to have a little bit more patience but that's me I, I've never had any patience my entire life and those who know me know that very well so uh, it's something that I have to work on but here again, I'm just layering some colors. I wasn't really sure what to do, what colors to put in the wings. I just wanted something to stand out. And I thought the blue and the purple and the yellow would look nice together. And I wanted to stay away from more greens and pinks and, and colors like that. Because I didn't really want to have um, a pink and purple picture. So I decided to go with the colors that I did. And really, it was just, um, I didn't even think about it. I just picked a color off of the uh, off my palette here. And I just had at it because I really didn't know what to do. And you can see up in the top left there uh, by that yellow piece by the head, that's where the color started to bleed. So um, it was after that that I had to add in some yellow to the blue parts in the wings to uh, make it look like I didn't make a mistake, but I really did. But like I said, it looks really good in the end, so I'm okay with it. But you really sometimes just have to work with um, work with what you have, and if mistakes happen, you just try to do something to make it work. Um, and I was really bad at that before, and just maybe a year ago, if I made a mistake like that, I would just scrap the whole thing. But I'm like, nope, i got to keep this, and we're going to figure out what we can do to make it work. So here I'm adding in that uh, extra yellow in the wings. And I really did, uh, like I said, I did like the way it looks. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say in particular for this piece other than I did use some aqua markers towards the end um, to fix this part on the shirt here that I am mucking up. Um, but other than that, uh, I just did some details on the flowers with a uh, uniball pigment, a white pigment pen, and added some... Um, more darker lines. I've, I've redid some of the line work, that's what I'm trying to say, because the intense colors, the yellow kind of went over on the black, and you could the black wasn't as vibrant as I wanted it to be. But other than that, I added a little bit of a wash to the background so it just didn't look white, but unfortunately it doesn't show up on the camera that well, and it doesn't show up in pictures that well, so um, it is there. So I'm going to leave it at that and let you enjoy the rest of the video. I uh, just wanted to let you know that the digital image for this particular piece is on my Etsy shop, and you can download it to use as a digital stamp. Uh, there's also a image in there as well that you can use as a coloring page. And um, yeah, that's on my Etsy shop if you'd like to have a look at that. And I'm in the process um, of trying to get this piece 
put on some of the items that I have in my Society6 store. And I don't have a link to that listed below, um, but I will post it in my next video because I'm still working on it currently. I do have a couple of things on there right now, but I do need to edit the items that I do have. So once I get it all set up and ready to go, I will um, give you the link in the next video, which will be on Wednesday. And um, yeah, if you want to check it out, you can certainly do so. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you probably possibly learned something. I'm getting all tongue-tied here today. And um, as usual, if you have any questions or comments, you can uh, leave them down in the comment section. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up for the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, if you'd like to see more uh, videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, lots more um, illustrations and journaling pages and who knows what I'm going to do next. So um, yeah, check it out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.